Hey and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Romika Spiegel-Jones. I'm an illustrator and designer based in Manchester. And today I want to talk about the Mats Children's Book course. So I've signed up for this course and it is really um, well executed. It is very clear what will happen. You have three texts to choose from. You get them before the course starts and you get a text chooser. So it helps you specifically to choose a text. For me, I didn't find that exactly so helpful, but it was interesting and I think I just chose the text that, I, that spoke to me the most. And this is about uh, Junko Tabe. And she is a mountaineer, or was. Um, she passed away last October, I think. And she was the first woman who climbed Mount Everest, well, who reached the summit of Mount Everest. And she was, I think, 35 or 36. So this, I like strong women. I like people who have dreams, um, like me, that's my dream, to live a creative life and actually earn a living from it. And I just found this story very inspiring and that's why I chose it. Anyways, back to the structure of the course. So what you can expect from what I know so far, you get insider knowledge from what an art director looks for. You get exact um, cheat sheets and all kinds of PDFs that help you what to look for in your character development, what is important, what should you look at. And you get a wealth of examples, so many beautiful examples. And some of them I knew before, some of them I've never seen before, so I found this very valuable. You get exposed to so many different styles, to so many different artists, and it's just, I don't know, it's just beautiful. <laughs> it just makes me incredibly happy to find all these great people. Of course, it's filtered through, you know, their uh, preferences, but at the same time, they show you that you can work in any kind of style and it can still work. And I think that's cool, that children books, children's book illustration has space for so many different styles. You get a lot from this course. I feel, so far, I've spent a week on it, and I can tell already that it's worth the money, I feel. I feel like I have so many insider tips now and so much focused, compact knowledge that I can access any time because like, you can download everything that, yeah, I feel it was worth it and also each m Monday you get like a mini assignment so you focus on a small thing you develop and share it in this Facebook group that you get so if you have access to that with all your other colleagues that take this course and on Wednesday you get a bigger assignment and this bigger assignment will be handed in on Sunday shouldn't be all too complicated. Basically, mini assignment, bigger assignment, and bigger assignment will be looked at by Lilla and Zoe. And then they will pick a selection that they think is valuable to share with the community, and then they will um, comment on them. And I have not experienced that yet. It will be next week for the first time, but uh, I think it's great. Can you imagine someone that high profile and so experienced and actually such a wonderful personality too, both of them are really nice, they look at your work. I mean, how often do you get that, exp I don't know, how often do you get that opportunity? It's just amazing. So, you get a lot of positive encouragement through the Facebook group, but I have to say, one of the things that I find, beware, yes, it is a positive place, yes, you have to push yourself to share your work, but be aware that there can be people who, you know, Maybe they give critique, maybe it's not always 100% constructive. That shouldn't obviously happen, but it happens and yeah, I think I still need to kind of work on that, how I process these kind of, I don't know, feedbacks on my work because obviously your work is always very personal and you're still growing and sometimes um, that kind of can hurt, but in general there is no space for negativity, they don't want that, they don't, they don't encourage this. So. I feel if I would get more like critique, critique and not constructive critique, I probably would say, well, to this person, can you please be nice? I don't know, <laughs> no. um, this doesn't help me. But so far it was only once that this happened and I think in general I feel the group is full of encouragement, people are really friendly and yeah, it's a great place to be in and to work with. So also every day you get daily prompts which for me is kind of new, I don't really do that and I think it's great because 
I feel like I need to draw more and sometimes it's like I would never draw this right here but <laughs> um, I will show you some examples of what I've done as well not just um, blah blah so anyways I hope this excites you I hope everything I said makes sense because I'm just saying this on from the top of my head but I do feel that from the first week it has been very valuable yes you can get critique that is not always maybe 100% constructive but I can still learn from it just need to overcome my pride and th say well this person probably meant it well and maybe didn't express it as nicely <laughs> as they could and I guess this happens to me too so we're all just human and yeah we will always face some sort of rejection in our lives and we just need to deal with this yes so it was great so far I feel like I've learned a lot and I will show you some of my things that I've done and I hope you can um, stick with me for the next video that will be for the second week yes so I think I'm super overexposed now <laughs> the Sun King can you believe it after days and days of darkness that's Manchester for you no we have a lot of nice weather by the way no offense to Manchester <laughs>